All right, continuing the installment on layers. This is layers 103, how to add a new layer. So we'll start with the big picture here and let's uh, scroll in and move over to this little table here. And one thing you'll see here is there's an add layer button. You notice how the mouse, when I get on it, turns to a little push button. So we're gonna add a layer today and we're gonna add a layer and it looks like we're adding it in position 111 that does that's handed automatically to us here's our date so first thing we do when we add a layer is we come into here and we say okay the status of this layer is going to be open and by its nature if something's open when it compiles it shows up in this table and i'm just going to call this a sample layer and my sample layer is going to have a depth of what should we give it for a depth let's just say it's at 30 centimeters uh, just for grins here i'm going to put in the word yes here on events so I'll make make sure that that's correct yep so we'll put in a yes and we're going to call it apwl and we'll give it an elevation zone of 9,000 to 6,000 return close enough I'm not going to worry about the zones obviously the zones are going to be southern central and northern Tetons I'll fix that here as soon as I finish the video and once we have this basic stuff in here I'm going to say add layer and it goes through giving us some various little cues that says where we are, the record got added, and now the computer's going through and it's taking care of all of its paperwork. And you'll see 111 showed up where we had added it. And it also has indexed itself forward right here to 112 in case you were gonna add two layers. So that's the basics of how you add a layer to your chart. Uh, once you add the layer to your chart, let's see if it showed up in here. Yeah, see down here at 30 centimeters, I'll zoom back out. It shows a sample. Kind of cool. And yeah, that's the, the basics for how this thing works. Let's see if... And, uh, yep, so next installment, we will uh, talk a little bit more about how to... Uh, edit the things in this table up here but for now that's how you add a new layer thanks for watching